Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Colton and welcome to this video. Today we're talking about a heat wave in India that have killed 750 people in 5 weeks. Now, we're talking in an extremely, extremely, extremely low uh, uh, time span, which is 5 weeks, 750 people have died just because of the hot weather. Let's move more into the post. Well, it makes sense, right? Uh, it's the Huffington Post. I mean, let's get more into the article that is from Huffington Post. Hyderabad, India. More than 750 people have died in southern India since the middle of April as soaring summer temperatures scorched the country, officials said Tuesday. The, the south, southeastern state of Andhra Pradesh and Telangana have been hit the hardest. More than 550 people have died from the unrelenting heat in Andhra Pradesh since May 13th, State Deputy Chief Nimakayara Jinnar Rajapa said. A top state official in Telangana, Bambal Ram Mina, said about 215 heat-related deaths have been reported since April 15th. Daily temperatures in both states in both states have been hit between 45 and 48 degrees Celsius. For people that are uh, a far, Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit uh, guy, if you use Fahrenheit, it says uh, 113 and 118 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, in my country and generally the majority of the world, they use uh, uh, Celsius. Damn, 45 or 48 degrees Celsius? Dude, that is fucking boiling hot, man. That's that's not even possible to... You can't even fucking live in that weather, which furthermore explains why 750 people died, which is awful. Officials have urged people to stay hydrated and remain indoors as much as possible. I, 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 I agree. I, <laughs> I agree. In the eastern city of Kolkata, taxi unions have urged drivers to stay off the roads between 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. because of the heat. Whoa, uh, mm, that, that's awful. Blistering hot, dry winds have also swept across most parts of north and central India. While wilting, was it wilting or wilting? Tell me. Wil, let's go with wilting, it sounds more natural. Wilting plants and forcing people to avoid the outdoors. In the cities, large crowds of office workers gather around stalls selling cold fruit drinks. Mmm, cold fruit drinks. The, what the fuck was that? <laughs> what? Why did I say that? Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. Weather officials say that the sweltering temperatures, temp temperatures are likely to continue in southern India for at least another week. Monsoon rains expected to arrive in southern state of Kerala in the first week of June should bring some respite. The, the monsoon the, the monsoon season runs through sep, runs through September as the rain gradually rains gradually cover the entire country. That was a uh, quick insight on the Huffington Post. Uh, the, the heat wave in India that have killed 750 people in five weeks. Now, if you guys don't already know, that is a lot. So, yeah, I advise you guys to not, for all my Indian people that watch this video, yeah, stay inside, bro. Or sis, it's fucking hot outside in Hyderabad. So yeah, 45 to 48 degrees, man. I wish I could, I wish I could kind of get some insight on how that is because I live in Norway and we don't really have, our temperatures doesn't rise more than like 25 degrees um, if it's really, really hot. But damn, 45 to 48 degrees, I can't even imagine how hot that is. So you guys, stay cool, stay fresh, stay hydrated in Hyderabad. <laughs> Awful joke, sorry. Uh, yeah, stay hydrated and yeah, uh, keep yourself in a, uh, in a cool state, in a cool state that will, um, that will help you survive at least for a, another week as it has been presumed that it will last, uh, it will last another week, I think. Yeah. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching and to my Indian viewers, stay cool.